Well, hello, advisors. Welcome to the July edition of the monthly advisor update. Joining me today is our CEO, Troy Medley. I know you've all have heard some change has been happening at the Office of Administration, but we have made strategic improvements to better deliver the programming and resources that are available to us, to you, the advisor and the volunteer. And Troy is going to walk us through a little bit about what these improvements look like. Troy, thanks for being here. Thank you, Alan. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, I just I just passed my five year anniversary as a CEO of Lambda Chi Alpha, and uh, this is a great time to look back and catalog how far we've come and why we've made uh, the strategic changes we've made over the last five years and why we are taking a look ahead and trying to figure out what do we need to do uh, to accomplish what we want to accomplish over the, the next five years. So I'd like to, if I may, Alan kind of go back in time for, for a few minutes um, to better portray uh, where we're going in the future. But yeah. in, in 2019, Lambda Chi Alpha was in a, a pretty steep decline. Membership had decreased by 37%. We were being told in survey after survey from our, our undergraduate members that they didn't value the programming, whether it be character-based, uh, uh, competence-based, risk management-based. Uh, they didn't feel like they were they were supported. They didn't feel connected, and in many ways, that's because Gen Z had come to school in 2015. We hadn't evolved to meet the needs of this new generation, uh, and so we took stock. Uh, we did a lot of, uh, of of study surveys. We brought in uh, outside firms to study our membership base. And from that, uh, we learned that we really needed to provide our, our chapter officers with more routinized and continuous support uh, from the office administration. So we created two new positions. One was the chapter support specialist or coach, which replaced the ELC. And instead of meeting with the chapter one semester for two to three days, they met with them weekly uh, for, for an hour. And the training manager position, where we would have a specialist that worked with the Delta, the TAW, the Kappa, the theta and to provide them with the content they needed to do their very difficult jobs. And that's been rolled out over a, a five year period. It's been supported by uh, both the ideal man and said leadership co uh, college content. And the results have been pretty spectacular. We've grown by 28% since uh, 2019. Uh, we're just shy. We're at 9,943 members. Uh, we'll easily cross the 10,000 member threshold. Uh, we were at 7,200 members in 2019. Uh, our average chapter size has grown from 46 to 60. Uh, disaffiliation rate, this is a, I think this is a huge testament to both the programming and the, the support has gone from 19% disaffiliation rate uh, throughout our history to 10% uh, over the last three years. And we've had over 600 officers get a stead Leadership certification, over 3,000 brothers have gone through the Ideal Man program. So the changes we made were working. We just don't feel like they're working optimally. And we think we need to do better and we need to do more to get the support our chapters need in real time. And I think if we really think about it, we will all agree that 35 people with an average age of probably 26 in Carmel, Indiana, cannot meet the needs, the day-to-day -day needs, the real-time needs of our members and our chapters uh, across North America. Uh, it is hubris to think that that would ever be possible. But this is what we've tried, and this is what our entire industry has tried to do for 115 years. And a lot of it was because we just didn't have the technology to leverage our alumni base. Yeah. But we have come to believe after lots of study of what makes an effective chapter. And I'm sure this is not going to be a surprise to our alumni volunteers, but the only, the only causation factor we can find in long-term success is an effective alumni advisory board, effective high pie that works well with generation after generation of students that come after. So if that's what works, we have to put time, treasure, focus, uh, to, to that effect. So I like to think of the Office of Administration going forward, as we're like the Pentagon. And our chapter advisors are like our SEAL Team 6, they're like our uh, Army Rangers, they're like our Delta Force. 
they're in the field accomplishing the mission. Our job is to give them the best research, the best communication, the best intelligence, the best tools to do their job. And so that's really what we're trying to focus. At the same time, the there was a weakness in the chapter support coach role, which is over the course of the year, it became very administrative and focused on compliance rather than helping that high alpha become the best leader he could be. So we're, we're, we've, we've moved all that compliance work into its own separate role, which is a chapter reporting specialist. And that will work, they'll work with the, the high gamma um, to make sure that they're staying ahead of, of all the roster and billing and everything that they need to do. And we're gonna really free up that high alpha training specialist to work directly with the high alpha on how do you become an effective executive? Uh, by utilizing the content that has been made available in Stead Leadership College. So if you think about it as like a three-legged stool, we've got uh, personnel to really help grow our, our, our alumni advisory ranks. We want to have 3,000 certified advisors by 2030. That's up from 600 now. We have to put resources uh, to, to in play to make that happen. We want to help our officers succeed by making sure that we have uh, staff here and programming for them so they are able to master the skills available to them. And then we want to have specialized folks that work with the gamma, work with the high taw to help them do their very difficult jobs. And if we do that really well, um, and if we do that as well as we've done what we've done over the past five years, we believe that we can have 200 chapters, 15,000 members, and 3,000 happy, effective, connected advisors by 2030. And that's that's our goal. Yeah, that's amazing, Troy. So what I really heard you share there is we made these adjustments in 2019 to really hone in on what the chapter experience looks like to get that to a place where there's a competitive edge. Now technology has come along post pandemic far enough that we can look at and focus on how we're supporting the volunteer structure and volunteer model that will help deliver the programming that has been created to the students. And we believe that uh, by making these improvements and adjustments that we'll be able to engage more with the alumni at the local level because they are our success path moving forward. Uh, so Troy, one of the phrases or terms I heard you use that the advisors may not be familiar with is the high alpha training specialist. So to talk a little bit more logistically about the staff changes, uh, the, the chapter coach role has uh, evolved into what is now a high alpha training specialist that works directly with the high alpha. Um, what other changes are happening across the department and how? Uh, what are these terms you're going to hear? Because I think even my title here on the screen needs to change. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, the high alpha training specialist is very similar to the chapter support specialist, but we've taken all of the record keeping and compliance and we've domiciled that in its own role. And the high alpha training specialist's job is to help the high alpha utilize the content available to them in the Stead Leadership College to become a great leader, and a great manager, to take those tools and learn to use those tools in the situations in which they find themselves so they master these skills. Um, so where we had six chapter support specialists, now we have six high alpha training specialists. So it's just a tweak. We've also moved Justin Fisher. Uh, Justin Fisher is now really focused on our expansion and our recruitment role. Uh, we want to get to 200 chapters. Uh, uh, we landed seven new opportunities last year. We're going to be trying to land seven to 10 each year, open six to eight chapters. Uh, and we're working with uh, a group called EAB, which is the largest uh, marketing firm that it, uh, universities utilize to attract members. So we're, we're, we're marketing to uh, juniors and seniors. And Justin's going to be helping us create a way for us to actually select members that want to be Lambda Chi's rather than having to rely simply on formal recruitment and hoping the right people walk through our door. So that's really where the, the big personnel focuses are. Dr. Simon Taylor just moved over from London, is now overseeing our, our people development team, which has uh, got our, our learning outcomes uh, and our training managers, our chapter support specialist, and then I oversee human resources uh, in our events team directly, uh, plus the senior leadership team. So not not significantly different changes, but we've just tried to align uh, the work um, better so that the 
folks that are training people and the folks that are then working with them in the field are actually on the same functional team. Yeah, no, that makes sense. And I think what's, what is a significant change though is moving the department from alumni enrichment uh, to now volunteer support and then adding new three or three new team members over the next uh, 45 days, that is a significant change for Lambda Chi. And I think the advisors, the conversations I've had with them, they were excited about having more resources, more people, more connection with the broader community. And these adjustments help make that possible. Uh, so this, yeah. it, it, it is an evolution. And I think all of us are excited for it. Yeah. And we're able to do that because our foundation has been, is so good at raising money that we've been able to invest in building this entirely new uh, service component. Our desired outcome is within three years, we have one advisor for every 35 chapters. And then we get to the point where we're parallel. We have the same number of, of uh, team members working with our undergraduates and our volunteers. So we have a holistic support system uh, for, for our chapters. I think it's yeah. the only way we're gonna fulfill our mission. Yeah. Just to make sure you all heard that correctly, it is our goal to have one uh, Office of Administration team member helping advisors for every 35 chapters that we have across Lambda Chi. So we have balance between the high alpha training specialists and the volunteer support team. Uh, well, our advisors, I know they're excited about what's uh, coming up at the General Assembly. They're excited that Chapter Spot and Greek Bill, we talked about that last month. We're currently putting the students through the training now. Your training as an advisor will come in subsequent weeks. Uh, but all of these advancements and evolutions at the staffing level is going to make your life as an advisor easier. And I just want to say, Troy, thank you for hopping on today, sharing with us your vision, the reason for the evolution and what we can expect in the future. It's my pleasure. And I just want to thank every every volunteer for the, the time, the effort, the care you provide uh, our members. Uh, we have not been able to provide you with uh, the resources that you need to maximize your gifts uh, historically, and uh, we're going to change that. Yeah. Well, we're excited. Hopefully we'll see some of you in Phoenix in the 100 degree heat in a few weeks. Uh, nothing else. We'll see you next month. Thank you.